Let's look at some example readings taken from the Fluke 805 vibration meter. On the left, we see a machine with no fault. The vibration meter screens the machine and displays the bearings are good and the overall machine health is good. This means we're okay to run the machine. On the right, we see a machine with imbalance. The vibration meter screens the machine and displays the bearings are good and the overall machine health is unacceptable. This means that we should do further testing to diagnose the problem. We should look at a trend of past readings to help us determine if we need to secure this machine or get a tester for further troubleshooting. Export your measurements to Excel on your PC to trend overall vibration, Crest Factor Plus, and IR temperature. Use the mini USB to USB cable to connect the meter to your PC. Use the custom Excel template to select your machine. Configure the options for the trend plot. Machine name, bearing location, ISO class, graph axes, and unit selection. Looking at the number alone for overall vibration or bearing condition might not be of much benefit. What is normal or what indicates a problem? Use the severity assessment and trending functionality to overcome this obstacle. Here we see a trend plot with two plots and above that we see readings from the 805 taken at the beginning of the time span and at the end of the time span. Along the bottom of the graph is the time. Notice it's in green. We see two scales. The crest factor plus is the trend along the bottom of the dark blue dots. Notice the scale over on the right. The bearings are good because crest factor plus is zero. The overall vibration is the light blue line trending upward. See the scale on the left. The overall vibration indicates a problem. It went from 0.02 to 0.58 four months later. To the right of the graph, we see two severity scales. These two severity scales follow the readings on the left. The two scales, the one on the left, are the ISO, is the ISO standard. See the ISO chart just below the ISO rating. The ISO rating is based on four general machine categories based on size alone. The other severity scale to the right is the Fluke overall severity scale. It is based on the machine category that you selected, one of the 37 predefined inside the 805. This compares the measurement that you took on your axial fan to vibration readings from other real axial fans. The chart at the bottom shows how we can view all of the data measured by the 805. Select the View Data button to see this spreadsheet in Excel. Then cut and paste the values, copy them into your own custom Excel spreadsheet for trending or import into your own programs. To print the trend plot that we saw in the earlier slide, just press Control-P to print the trend plot.